Raise your hand if any of you have ever had a daydream. Thank you. I am a daydreamer. My friends often have to tap me out of my own world. My dad used to joke about this. He would say, if you stare at the ceiling hard enough, you might poke some holes in it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wouldn't it be so cool if you could draw in space instead of having to draw on paper? Wouldn't it be amazingly awesome if you could bring newspapers to life like the Daily Prophet and Harry Potter? Wouldn't it be epic if you could pop up whatever you wanted in your own room? Today, I'm going to introduce you all to a technology that allowed me to bring my daydreams to reality, augmented reality. So, augmented reality is the technology that allows us to overlay graphics on top of the real world. Let's take a look at some demos that I prepared just for you guys so that we could see augmented reality right here, right now. What you see here is a face mesh on top of me. That is how well your phone can track your face. It can move when I move my eyebrows. It works with my eyes. I can blink them and the mesh moves. It's obviously synced with my lips in real time. And same thing with my face. I can move around. With this kind of a technology, you can build Snapchat filters. You could actually detect expressions. Take a look at the user's mood. And you can obviously create a lot of cool pranks for your friends. Now let's take a look at something that I built for this demo. I call this a potato brick face. <laughs> so this is my potato brick face and it can track my face. And as soon as I blink, it blinks with me. And this brick uh, is just going to drop because this is how cool my jaw drop is. <laughs> So this is just a small sample of you, what you can do with augmented reality. And we're going to take a look at a few more. I just talked about being able to draw in space. And this TEDx platform is actually one of my dream platforms. And I'm going to draw some graffiti on it. <laughs> so let's pick the color red. Here we go. And I'm going to increase the thickness a bit. That's the best heart I can draw. And here's how I feel about being on this platform. Now, um, sometimes speakers could potentially get tired standing over here. So I thought maybe it would be nice to have a chair as well. And I decided that I could bring a chair to life over here using augmented reality. So this is the beautiful red chair that you guys are going to see over here soon. And this is how it looks in 3D. And now we're going to go ahead and augment this into reality. There we go. And I can scale it and make it super big as well. I can move it around as I like. And yes, I can rotate it as well. And it feels really good and I think the red looks good with this theme. Um, if any of you want to sit on it, just know that it's not real. <laughs> but think about the applications of this in retail, like being able to see furniture. Um, when you sell products, it's amazing. So this was a few sample applications of augmented reality. And it can be used in a lot of different places. Imagine being able to use this on top of media. You could 
bring 3D models, videos, all those newspapers, be able to see highlights. In fact, in the next career fair, if any of you want to have an augmented reality resume, come talk to me. <laughs> So, there is still something missing about this whole augmented reality experience to me. The cool part was that we could overlay graphics on top of the world, but I felt like I was the only one talking, you know? The world wasn't intelligently responding to me. And that is when I came across this amazing piece of technology called object detection. Object detection is the technology that lets you detect what objects are there in an image or real-time video and where they exist. And then I had the idea, why not integrate both of these technologies? And that's what I did. So let's take a look at a demo of this. I've trained a model for you guys that can train, that can detect any kind of car or any kind of bike. And what we're going to do is as soon as we detect a car, we're going to overlay the graphic of a convertible car on top of it. I've been in love with those recently. And then we're going to overlay the model of a yellow bike on top of the image of a bike. And I have a lot of different cars and bikes here, and we're going to go over them and see what we get. So this is the first model of a car. And then, if I flip this over, I get a bike. And there we go. It's a bike on top of a bike. And by the way, these are 3D models, not 2D graphics. You can look at them from all angles. Then the next thing I have is a different car. And there we go, another car. The next thing I have for you guys is another bike, another bike. And we have another car, and another bike. And just to show you guys how quick this is, every time I press this clear button, the object detection and the augmented reality graphics are all cleared out. We're starting from scratch. That's how quick the overlay is. It's milliseconds. Now, what are some of the applications of this technology? This technology can be used in education. You can have a lot of chemical compounds popping up on top of your textbook. I wish I could see the angles in reality, in augmented reality, instead of seeing them in those conventions. You can use this in sales. Imagine being able to pop up tires on top of cars without having to actually put them in place to be able to look at them. You can use them in factories, in user guides. Imagine being able to detect ports in factories and have cables pop up on top of them for training. And these are some of the places that this can be used. Now this technology is available to all of you for use. This was published by me in the IEEE UEM Con, which is the Mobile and Ubiquitous Computing Conference last year. And it won the Best Paper Award over there, and it is actually being used in a few different places. So any of you can look this technology up and actually work on it and build something on top of it, and I would be super excited to see what you all can build. Now this, so far, Sounds like a beautiful success story of a technical endeavor. But believe it or not, it is preceded by a long journey of breakdowns and breakthroughs. It's blood, sweat, tears, laughter sometimes. 
when I started working on this integration, it was just an idea. And that is where all of this starts. I did not know how object detection works. I did not know how augmented reality works. I couldn't have built any of these apps that you just saw today. But that is when I started learning. In fact, when I trained my first object detection model, I didn't know how many images it would take to train it. So I started with 50 images, and I failed. Then I went to 100 images, and I failed again. And then I went to thousands of images, and this was thousands of photos that I took with my own phone and drew boxes on them. And someday, it ended up working. I didn't understand how graphics used to work. I didn't know how you could detect things and overlay graphics at the same time. All of that was learning. But the big point that I want to make over here is that innovation has a lot of challenges. And as a lot of engineers are here in the room, you will have to collaborate with stakeholders because they have a lot of knowledge that we can work with. You might have to work with deadlines. You might have to work with technical challenges. But that is what education teaches us. I learned how to work with deadlines because of homework. That's where I pulled most of my all-nighters. I learned how to collaborate with others, and I learned how to make sure that I'm planning long-term as well as short-term by working on projects. But most importantly, by going to college, I learned how to learn. I wasn't a CS major when I did this, but I knew how to learn. And that is what we are all learning. And that is what helps us cross that failure threshold and jump into that success, which we all dream of. And it's all so sweet. When you see that something that you've been working for days, weeks, hours, nights is actually working, that feeling is great. And that is what we all strive towards, and after that obviously comes all the recognition, the happy, cheerful faces of your teammates. And here's what I want to say to you all. This is an amazing time to be in the field of technology. Never ever have we had such great capabilities in computing, networks, biology, in all fields of technology. And we have the skills, we have the tools, we have the will to change things up, to improve things. We're constantly looking at things and looking at ideas that we can implement to improve things. We're thinking of bringing science fiction to reality. And I want to say, just go ahead because you have everything. Change the world, rock the world. And here's my parting shot to all of you. What is that dream that you're going to work on and augment reality to make it come true? Thank you.